All I've ever wanted was a family. In foster care, I never got close to anyone. I had Carmen for a little while, but to have a real sister. I already have a sister. I don't need another one. Natalia is a walking, talking reminder of how my father just slapped us in the face. Only if you choose to see it that way. Well, how should I see it? It's not her fault, Frankie. Natalia didn't do this. She has to be hurting just as much as you are, and just as confused. Why can't you guys just help each other out? Thank you. Thanks for listening. I'm so blessed to have someone like you in my life. What's wrong? Results of Rebecca's MRI. the other angels now. I come in peace to say that I'm no longer a threat to any of you. Well, I suppose that means you can leave. Your wife is a very, very smart woman, Tad. She convinced me that I am responsible for my own misery and that I had no right to blame any of you. Shall I call the police? No, let him talk. We all know I have done some horrible things and I can't take them back, but I can promise you that I am no longer a danger. I just want to wipe the slate clean and start fresh. Because I believe in my heart that that's exactly what Babe would want me to do. Oh my goodness. I know. I know. Oh. Watch this. Three, two. He's got the magic touch. Wow. You know, that's very, very impressive. Nice. A lot of practice. You know, with skills like that, we, uh, we can't just let him go. Oh, no, no, no. He's definitely a keeper. Z Zach, we've been talking, and when you agreed to be our donor, I know that we weren't sure exactly what role you would play in our child's life, but now that she's here, we just can't imagine you not being a part of it. Yeah, and so we thought that when she was older, we could tell her more. But for the time being, um, what do you say we stick with Uncle Zach? Uncle Zach, I like that. Mm -hmm. But you know what? She also still needs a middle name, right? Right. Um, so what do you think of Zacharina? That's, uh, that's not good. <laughs> you don't like that? <laughs> She's kidding. No. <laughs> oh, no, but Bianca did have an idea. She said, um... Amelia. She told me how much your mother meant to you. Gabrielle, Amelia. That's nice of you, Honor. All right. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, where are you going?
doing? You can stay. Stay with us. Yeah, I'll go check on the boys. Come on. How is she? It's bad. I knew it. Your mother has a brain tumor. They can take it out, right? It's inoperable. She's gonna die? Right now, Rebecca is sedated. And we'll keep her as relaxed and comfortable as possible. Does Dad know? We'll tell him. I lost the person I loved most, and I blamed all of you. I felt that I deserved payback from you. You threatened to steal my grandson. I know, I know, but that was wrong. Of course, little Adam needs to be with his father. I know that, and I will never pull anything like that again. All I can hope is that someday you might allow me the occasional visit so that I can watch him grow up. I never had that chance with Babe. So that, well, that would mean the world to me. I want you also to know that I'm gonna get my job back at the hospital. I'm gonna spend every waking minute healing the sick and proving to all of you that I have changed. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Yeah, I can't stomach anymore. Yeah, nobody's buying this crap, are they? You know, I don't expect any of you to buy it, okay? Except maybe Crystal. She's the reason why I'm here. Willing and able to make all of these promises to you. All right, then you can go now. All right. But first, I'd like to say goodbye to my daughter. Fine. about anything, darling. I am never going to forget what they did to you. There are plenty of coffins for all of us.